This article is sponsored by YM Cinema 65, which is a one-of-a-kind handmade stainless steel model of a 65 mm motion picture film camera. The perfect gift for filmmakers, moviegoers, camera lovers, and cinephiles. The philosophy behind Ari cameras. Filmmaker Patrick Tommaso went to Ari to ask some challenging questions to understand the philosophy behind their cameras. We gathered some fascinating insights, but moreover, we understood that it all starts from the story. Yes, even a high-end cinema camera, which comprises state-of-the-art technology, was developed to help the artists tell a story. Patrick interviewed Francois Gauthier, a technical sales representative at RE. Francois explained that the camera is just a tool that helps the artist to deliver the story. Francois facilitated the explanation as follows. If you are a painter, you don't need a camera. You paint your story on the canvas. If you can tell your story in one picture, which can be a very challenging mission, then you are a photographer. However, if you want to level up yourself, and one picture isn't enough for you to tell that story, then you might find moving pictures to be more preferred. And for that, you need a camera. So, according to Francois, if you have a great story, you have a book. If you can light that story, you have a play. If you can lens that story, you have a feature. Patrick is a smart guy. He didn't hesitate and asked Francois the demanded question. You guys came out with a brand new camera, the Airy 35. How do you find people responding now to Super 35 even though it's a bit old fashioned? Airy has responded by mentioning that many unforgettable legendary movies were shot in the 70s and still hold till today. For instance, we wrote about Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, which was shot on the Airyflex 35BL, and emphasized that this is a rare masterpiece as stated. They don't do like these anymore. Also, Airy claims, and with good logic, that there's a niche for Super 35 and a niche for large format. We have written a decent amount of articles about the comeback of Super 35 and its necessity in modern filmmaking. Additionally, there's a medium format like the Alexa 65, but this is for dedicated purposes of storytelling. Francois also talks about the valid business aspect. For instance, rental houses that invested in Super 35 glass would be happy with the RE35 since it allows them to perfectly utilize these lenses, as opposed to investing a huge amount of money on large format lenses. Also, the old Super 35 glass is characterized by a vintage look, and the RE35 was designed to preserve that look with the help of specialized functions. Finally, Francois says that shooting on Alexa is almost like cheating. It's a very simple to use. You just turn it on and start filming great pictures. That simplicity allows you to concentrate on crafting your story, making it more precise and intriguing. Thus, you have more time to craft the shot. However, this is not as simple as that. There's a difference between just delivering content to creating something beautiful. Therefore, the combination of skill sets and powerful tools is crucial to craft the best shot.